What is going on everybody? For those of y'all that are new to my channel, my name is Josh and I am a part-time reseller based here in rural West Tennessee. And before I hop into my video of items that I've sold over the past few days, I have to give a huge shout out to Eric at Flippin' Eric. And I'm going to link his channel down below in the description. So for all y'all that don't know who he is, please go and check him out. This man, at the kindness of his heart, gave me a shout out on his channel and actually had some of his uh, subscribers come to my channel and subscribe and interact with me and I am so thankful for that and I told him that uh, I was really I really appreciated I wasn't expecting it and that I would give him a huge shout out so here it is the front of my video Eric you got all the beginning of it I'm giving it all to you brother thank you so very much for uh, the shout out and to in my book you're a great guy I would like to meet you sometime and uh, actually get to uh get to tell you thank you in person so again thank you so very much and y'all if y'all haven't checked him out please do so i'll leave the link to his channel below great guy he has some awesome content out there he gives you some awesome tips and advice so please please watch his channel watch his channel and if you haven't subscribed subscribe like his videos let's help him out for helping me out so i'm gonna hop into this video real quick and again this is a what so video i know y'all seen a lot of them I promise I'm bringing you a sourcing video. Matter of fact, I'm making it tomorrow when I go to the Give Me a Five and I'll go on restock day to see what we can find. So I have nine items going out since Wednesday till now, which today is Friday afternoon. Nine items, and I'm gonna start off this real quick. I'm gonna show you my uh, my first item that I have going out. And it, hey, Ella, bring me the the num nums real quick. Yeah, my I got my youngest daughter Ella here with me today. She, it's right there. And she's on her rollerblades inside our our warehouse. Here she is. She's rollerblading, y'all. Say hi, Ella. Hi. <laughs> so uh, she's learning how to rollerblade, and like I said, we live in the in the country in Tennessee. Mostly gr gr uh, gravel and dirt roads. Nowhere to really ro rollerblade, but inside our warehouse we have plenty of room, and it's concrete. So she's taking advantage of it and she's getting pretty good at it. So again, first item I have going out are these num nums. My wife picked these up for me at Give Me a Five on I wanna say it was like a half off day. And it, anyway, when it, it worked itself out to be in like less than five cents. There's 36 of them in, in this lot, and I sold them for 50 bucks, and they are going international. So I am making a profit on it. Not exactly sure what the profit is to be honest with you because I haven't broke it down I'm just no I'm making a profit so which is the name of the game next item I have going out is this uh, American Girl doll my oldest daughter and myself went yard selling and there's a video for that y'all go back and check it out we went out and we spent all day on the Saturday hitting about 60 to 70 yard sales this is one item we picked up I'm not sure if I have it on camera because we hit so many I just kind of had a con can uh, dense the, the footage down but we picked this up at a uh, yard sale for ten dollars and I sold it for 40 and uh, I'll tell you right now my youngest daughter Ella who's in here she would love to have this doll but she has plenty don't worry I didn't take it from her and, and dangle it from her face she has plenty of dolls like this and so it was all cool she understands my next item and I'm gonna try to pick it up the best that I can. You have to bear with me. I know the camera is not the best camera. Y'all hear it? But here it is. Is this right here? This is the a Snoopy cookie jar, but not just any Snoopy cookie jar. It is one of the best words you can have in the, in anything on eBay. It's vintage. It is a vintage Snoopy cookie jar from the 60s, I believe. And I've got. Oh, excuse me. I lied to y'all from the 70s. I see it in the in the listing. But I picked this up in that huge Snoopy lot that I bought from the local guy oh, about three or four months back, months ago. And of course, piecing it off, sold it for 60 Remember, I gave $100 for the whole lot. And y'all, I have this trunk. It's like from 1965, it even says on there, Snoopy trunk. And I haven't even put it on there. It's in immaculate condition, and it's full of old vintage Snoopy plush. Only reason why I haven't put those on there is, yet is because I have to go home and actually wash them and see if I can't get some of the stains and stuff out of them and see what I can actually really sell. But for the meantime, they're in the trunk, they're safe, they're secure, nothing can mess with them. But anyway, 
sixty dollars what I what I got for that cookie jar, and again I gave hundred for everything, and y'all have seen over the through the course of my videos of me selling these items off. So moving on to the next item I have, and be on the lookout for these because you can find these anywhere. But it is the Justice League uh, is the name of it, and this character is the cyborg. And I will show it a little bit closer for you so you can see it. Anyway, I got this from the local guy. And I gave $15 or $10. 10 to $15 for three of these all together. So let's just say I got $5 in it. I sold it for $26.50. Okay. So let me give you a tip. When you're selling items like this that could possibly be collectible. So that means somebody might not even take it out of the package. and might just sell it on the shelf the way it is. Box it. Just, just pay to have it boxed. You can ship things first class mail in boxes. It'll arrive there and still pay the first class rate. So keep that in mind. If you can box it, put it in a box and send it to them. If for some reason you, you it, it say it's like 12 ounces and you only got some priority box, just pay the extra what two dollars or dollar twenty five in shipping, and I promise you, it will come back to you. You'll come back to you. You'll get positive feedback and. Uh, that will bring you more customers so keep that in mind take this from somebody who learned the hard way when i first started out so not everybody's just buying them to open them and play with keep that in mind okay so moving on is this uh beach body 10 minute abs trainer complete set i picked this up at a yard sale months uh i won't say months ago probably a month and a half ago anyway long time to sell but i only have like 25 cents in it so twenty-five cents in the fourteen fifty after shipping, I, I should bank ten dollars easy off of this. So even though it took a little while to sell, you know, you gotta think about what time of year it is. It's around the holidays. Ain't nobody really wanna work out around the holidays. Everybody's gonna be like me and get ready to stuff our mouth and enjoy the holidays with our family and friends and uh, eat some good food. But you know, like I said, it took a while to sell. There it is. You can probably sell it quicker first of the year when everybody's doing their New Year's resolutions. But don't be afraid to pick up Beachbody. I sell a lot of Beachbody items. I've heard people talk about they don't sell it because they get blocked. I have sold countless items of Beachbody. I have not been blocked. My uh, my listings have never been taken down. So knock on wood, that don't happen to me after this video. So keep that in mind. All right, next item, cool item, and I actually been selling some bigger ones of the uh, of these lights. I don't have them on video because this is before I started doing YouTube videos. But I picked this up. I got a total of $5 in it, and I sold it for $25. So, small little Milwaukee um, magnetic light. But the key to this thing is, is the name, Milwaukee. Don't be afraid to pick this stuff up used uh, or open box. Milwaukee sells great. Other brands look for Craftsman, DeWalt, Porta Cable, just to name a few. If you see anything along those lines, pick it up, check it out. I'm pretty sure you can make some money off of it if you can get it cheap enough. So, next item. This is a cool little item, and don't be be afraid when I show it to you. But it is a accessory for a gun. It is for the whole shotgun shells. Yes, you can sell these on eBay, legal, no problems. It all it does is attach to the a shotgun, holds extra shotgun shells. But I picked these up at a local Goodwill. I paid a 99 cents a piece for them, and I think I bought 10 that day. So I sold this one for $10. After shipping and fees, I've almost got my money back in just one of these. So keep that in mind. Again, don't be afraid to buy. If you see accessories like this, always look it up. Do your homework. But don't, don't be intimidated to sell items like this. Because a lot of people won't. And if somebody ain't selling it, that's just an opening for you to sell it. Okay, next item. And my last two items are not really that huge, big, profitable items. But just a, a learning opportunity for everybody including myself this right here is Legos everybody knows what Legos are but I'm gonna show you something you see this little number right here where my finger is pointing the seven the seven six number that seven six number is the model number now you can take that model number you can find manuals for these you can find missing pieces for it this set right here I got it at a yard sale they said it was missing parts I took a gamble on it and it was I gave 25 cents for it shoot the box itself is worth that and uh, did my best to look it up and put it together and that's another thing a little quick tip if you're buying used Legos take the time to put them together 
so you can see what you have. Um, every one of my Legos that I buy open, I put them together, and then I have a vacuum sealer, and I've actually vacuum sealed them in men bags, and I put those into the boxes with them, pretty much already built and complete <clears throat> after taking my pictures, so that the buyer knows that they're getting a complete set if I say it's complete. But anyway, this item right here, I uh, picked up, like I said, I picked up for like 25 cents, and I sold it for five dollars with 750 shipping. So not too bad for an item that is missing parts and uh, wasn't that expensive for you know for me to purchase. So again, profit is profit, profit is king. That's what I'm talking about right there. Okay, last and final item I have is this mowing. It is a uh, commercial uh, brush nickel like of uh, faucet attachment I guess you can say it's there's the picture of it on the screen so you can see it but I'm gonna show you the model number it's right here okay this item right here I've had and it's it's a it's an expensive item but none of them really been selling so I put mine on $25 and someone in the buyer sent me a message they said they actually got with their plumber because they're remodeling their bathroom and they want to make sure this would would fit and work said it did they shot me an offer for $18 and I took it because this thing's been sitting on my shelf for months and I just want to get it out of here and I'm actually still making a profit on it because at give me a five at the store where I dig through items there's a video for it I actually won what's called a VIP bin and they brought my own personal bin out chock full of items and I bought them all I bought the whole bin bought everything this is one of them and I don't maybe a dollar I have in it so <laughs> and taking a dollar into to like I said what eighteen dollars that's not bad at all again that's 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 just one of those things about it you know you look up it's like anybody else when you find that treasure that nugget you look up uh, I really wish I had my camera roll when I first started because it was more of a learning opportunity for for y'all and as well as for me and I'm hoping that you're able to learn from my uh, my experiences on on film I hope you hope you are but uh, before I hop off of here and get ready to start packaging these items up and getting them out the door, I just want to give you a couple of tips, friendly tips, friendly advice. And uh, one is when you're outsourcing and you come across people that are actually doing the same thing you're doing, talk to them. I, I had the opportunity of meeting a lady last night while I was at a Goodwill. And uh, no, I didn't have my camera, so I didn't. Uh, film and I regret that I did not have my camera because it was sp spur of the moment and I picked up some stuff. But I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you what I what I scored from the Goodwill, my Goodwill haul, and uh, in another video. But getting back to what I was saying, ran into another flipper in there. Real nice lady. If she's watching my video, she knows who uh, who she is, and uh, we had a great conversation. And she told me she said, Josh, you know, I don't have. The, the capital to go out and go crazy and buy a lot of items and and, and at times it's overwhelming and I, I told her the best that I could that you know uh, don't get overwhelmed find a niche that you like find something that you like to sell which makes this fun and stick with it and slowly grow also capital it don't take much y'all you can probably find items in your home to sell to get you started so that you can what I do it's simple is if I find, when I first started out and I still do it to an extent now but I'm doing it so so much faster turn the items so much faster it's a little bit easier for me but when I started whatever whenever I sold something like say go back to this American Girl doll when I sold this for forty dollars I took half of it put it aside and the other half went into my my fund now what I would do is I'll take that 20 and when I hit a hundred dollars that hundred dollars was my my bubble that was my hey I'm gonna go find some really good items with this hundred dollars and my goal was I need to double or triple this hundred dollars so that's what I did I went out and, and I started and, and you'd be surprised how quick you can take a hundred dollars and turn it to two three four hundred dollars you can do it quick so that's my first tip for you go out talk to people and uh, build those relationships because you'll be surprised what <clears throat> what will come out of them second tip when uh, you're outsourcing and you're unsure and you kind of feel like you're getting overwhelmed take a break pull your phone out
take your items like for me when I go to Goodwill and I got a basket I just throw them in a basket then what I do is I'll go to some other part of the store where nobody's gonna bother me and I start going through my items <clears throat> go through scanning looking things up and I weed it down weed it down go in there with an agenda of like hey I just want to spend this much money or I only want to buy 10 items find the best 10 items you can find and uh, and purchase those to make a profit so those are just a couple of little tips and tricks I'm trying to start this out see if I can't give a little more information other than y'all just seeing me uh, showing y'all items that I sold <clears throat> and I like doing that of course I'm not boasting I just want to show y'all items that you can find and yes most of my items that I showed y'all today have been online for <coughs> online or see, look at this thing uh, we've been on eBay for maybe two weeks tops on majority of them now there were some that have been on there longer but majority of them two weeks and they're gone and so keep that in mind if you if you find the right items you can flip them quick so again I just want to say thank you to uh, flipping Eric again I can't thank him enough I hope if he's watching this video he's made it to this point because he gets another thank you again y'all go check out his channel if you have not subscribed subscribe to his channel you will learn a lot guys a really great guy and he seems like he has a big heart which is rare these days so again thank you to him and thank you for everyone who's came and subscribed to my channel because of him and for all my my subscribers I've had before then thank you as well I can't thank y'all enough y'all are the reason why I do this y'all the reason why that I get here in front of this little camera and show you all these items and I, I, I love it I love doing it I love I hope y'all see that I love doing it and if you have any questions about anything or if you like to see a certain kind of video leave a comment below let me know and uh, I will answer them as quick as I can and uh, again I, I thank y'all the bottom of my heart for all the support that y'all have given me again before I sign off I always try to do it in every one of my videos but if you see a veteran thank him or her thank them I, I, I would tell you to shake their hand but with all the the uh, pandemic stuff going on you really can't do that hey give them give them my air air knuckle bump you know air elbow bump you know whatever but tell them thank you because I thank you goes a very very long way with us I'm a veteran myself and uh, I love to love to get told thank you and I and I tell veterans thank you as well and my kids do it as well so keep that going get out there Tell them thank you and tell them that they are still supported today. Again, y'all, I love you. Thank you. And I'll catch y'all later on the next episode of Flipping and Shipping.